Hi everyone, welcome to AgriClarity, a unit of clarity for sure. In today's lecture, we'll be discussing previous year question of uh, genetics and plant breedings for IVPS AFO. Okay, so uh, let's dive into genetics and plant breeding analysis for the IVPS AFO exam. I have got the categorized questions from the year 2017 to 2024 along with some frequency analysis and observation. Today, my goal is to give you a deep dive into the trends, predict what might come in 2025 and advise on what to focus or what to skip. Okay. And I also summarize everything at the end. So let's first uh, look at the frequency analysis. It shows that the number of questions per topic and the year they have asked. Here is a quick summary. Like uh, in mutation and breeding, from the mutation and breeding topic, three questions were asked from the year 2022, 2022, 20, and 2018 from the topic hybridization and hybrids. The question, three questions were asked repeatedly from the year 21, 23, and 24. Then C technology, three questions again, again from the year 2024, then 29 and uh, 18, 2018. Genetics and plant breeding, particularly uh, about the genes, two questions were asked in the year 2020 and 2024. And nutrition and biofortified crops, one question was asked in 2018. And biotechnology, particularly about the gene transfer technology, one question was asked in 2017. Okay. From this, it is clear that uh, mutation, breeding, um, and hybridization and hybrids, C technology are the most frequent tested topics, each with three questions over the years and genetics specifically, dropping genes comes next with two questions. Okay. While nutrition, breeding, and biotechnology have only one question each. Now let's look at the year-wise distribution. Uh, in 2017, one question was asked from the uh, topic of biotechnology. In 2018, four questions were asked from the mutation breeding, seed technology and nutritional breeding. Particularly, two questions were asked from seed technology about the DAGs. Okay. Then in 2019, one question was asked from the seed technology. 2020, 20, two questions were asked from genetics, mutation breeding. Then again, 2021, one question was asked from the hybridization topic. In 2022, one question was asked from the mutation breeding. And in 2023, one question uh, was asked from hybridization again. Okay. And finally, in the year, recent year, 2024, four questions were asked from the hybridization, C technology, biotechnology, and genetics. Interesting pattern here is that in 2018, 2018 and 2024, okay. 2018 and 24, uh, there was four questions each, while other years had only one or two questions. So this might suggest that every year, the exam focuses more on genetics and plant breeding. Okay, so let's now analyze the topics in details. Uh, what are the topic-wise weightage? Okay, first topic is mutation breeding. Okay, in mutation breeding, questions on soma clonal, uh, soma clonal variation, polyploidy induction, uh, particularly about colchicine and specific varieties like pusa nana from papaya were, were asked. This topic has been consistently asked with the year in 2018 and 20 and again 22. Okay, so for 2025, it can be said that it's likely to appear again, possibly focusing on different aspects like types of mutation mutation, mutagens, and other mutant varieties. Okay, moving on to the second topic, hybridization and hybrids. Question on hybrid vigor, particularly heterosis. Okay, specific crosses and the aspects of hybrid seed production like male plant percentage in papaya were asked. And uh, uh, it they were asked in the year 2021, 23, and 24. And this seems to be a trending topic with the questions becoming more frequent recently. So we can expect questions on hybrid breeding techniques, types of um, breeds, hybrids, and specific hybrid varieties, okay? Moving on to the third topic, seed technologies. Questions on seed tags like blue tag or for the certified seed and germination type like epigeal germination and soya bean and germination person for hybrid seed production were asked. And they were asked in 2018, 19, and 2024. For 2025, this topic has a mix uh, 
of theoretical and practical aspect okay so for 2025 questions might focus on seed certification seed testing or seed storage okay moving on to the fourth topic genetics okay questions on genetics are like uh, dropping gene nor in 10 in wheat and mendelian genetics like incomplete dominance were asked they were asked in the year 2020 20, 20 and 2024 so while not as frequent it's still important because future questions might come from might cover other the other genetic concepts like genetic uh i mean genetic interactions okay genetic interactions linkage or quantitative genetics okay Moving on to the fifth important topic, which is nutritional and biofortified crops. Only one question on golden rice rich in vitamin answer with the rich in vitamin A answer was asked in 2018-19. So this might be a less emphasized area, but with the growing importance of biofortification, okay, uh, it could resurface. However, it's not a high priority subtopic based on past trends, okay. Lastly, uh, biotechnology gene transfer question were asked questions on gene transfer methods and tissue culture for triploid uh, production. Okay, in the year 2017 and 2024, the two questions were asked from this uh, topic. So biotechnology is a, actually a broad field, but in this context, it's less frequently tested. Okay, still it's basic concepts like transformation methods, okay, or applications at plant breeding might appear. Okay. So let's consider uh, what might come in uh, what might come in the year 2025, 2025 exam. So the predictions are divided here in the three uh, headings. Okay, uh, high probability topics, moderate probability topics, and low probability topics. Okay, for the high high probability topics, there are three subsections like hybridization, which are most of uh, the topics which are higher chances of coming are first hybridization and hybrids, mutation breeding and seed technology in a hybridization because it it is important because recent frequency of three questions in three consecutive years suggests that it may continue to be focused. Okay, so expect questions on heterosis, uh, hybrid seed production or specific crosses. Okay, talking about the mutation breeding, a uh, stable with consistent appearance Likely areas includes like mutagens, okay, mutagens or mutation types or varieties like Pusanana, which we have uh, discussed in the earlier slides. The third topic is C technology. Uh, again, regular uh, testing, three questions were uh, asked, which indicates that uh, it is of uh, prime importance. But there is a possible chances of questions on C certification like tags and germination standards or storage, okay. So moving on to the next moderate topics, uh, which have probability of coming is uh, there are two uh, headings, genetics and biotechnology in genetics with uh, two questions re recently on roughing genes and Mendelian concepts like dominance. It could reappear. Okay. But uh, let's see what happens. Next is biotechnology uh, present uh, in the year 2024. The one question was asked from the biotechnology. So uh, basic gene transfer or tissue culture application might be tested. Okay. So moving on to the uh, low probability topics for the genetics and plant breeding. There are two headings, nutritional breeding and resistant varieties. Only one question in 2018 uh, was asked. So not a priority uh, for us. Then resistant varieties. Again, one question new in 2024 was asked. So it is kind of, but too early to be... Uh, too early to predict recurrence without uh, more data. So let's see what happens in the coming year. Okay. So you can expect a mix factual recall type questions and uh, conceptual understanding on the above topics. Okay. Let's see what to focus and what to skip topics of uh, genetics and plant beings. I have divided into two core topics, which you should uh, must cover then key facts and the practice PYQs. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what are the core topics. Uh, so for the core topics, we can say that uh, mutation breeding uh, of uh, most highest probability uh, of uh, coming is mutation breeding, then hybridization, C technology and genetics and brand breeding. Okay, so you should must cover these uh, four topics for genetics and plant breeding for sure. Then key facts from here, uh, we can curate that uh, you should memorize specifics like uh, colchicine for 
polyploidy and norin or any specific genes which are involved in plant breeding okay specific genes like if there is a specific gene in maize then there is specific gene in uh, rice okay there is specific gene in barley as well so these are genes to be mem uh, memorized then all the tags of the uh, c technology then what are the percentage in the hybrid production of the uh, commodity or pro crops which are, which ha i mean which crops are gone through hybrid production so there must be any certain parameters for maintaining the female and uh, male ratio okay so these all must be uh, memorized uh, then uh, practicing the pyqs because you should be familiar familiarizing yourself with the question patterns and recurring themes so these are all the things what uh, you should cover then let's see what you should skip or skim like obscure details and advanced biotechnology topics and low frequency topics in obscure details you should uh, very specific breeding topics or very rare varieties unlike to repeat this these all should be skipped okay from my point of view then uh, advanced biotechnology complex gene editing or molecular markers beyond basic gene transfer or tissue culture should be avoided and low frequency topic like nutritional begins uh, nutritional breeding because as uh, there was only one question asked for, from 2027 to 2024. So unless you have extra time, uh, given its rarity, okay? Then uh, let's summarize uh, what uh, what are the uh, what have we uh, discussed in today's session? Okay, so we have discussed the most frequent topics: mutation breeding, uh, coming with the three question. Okay, then hybridization, hybridization and hybrids with three questions, frequency and the C technology with three questions, frequency, frequency. Then modality frequent topics are genetics and basics of genetics and biotechnology basics. Then less frequent topics were nutritional breeding and resistant varieties. Yearly pattern uh, we have discussed in which uh, we had seen that in from the year 2018 and to the, to the 2024, four questions were asked each year. So... It can be uh, seen that there is there was a dip in the other years uh, having one to two questions. Okay, then uh, for 2025 prediction, we can say that likely focus on the hybridization, mutation and seed technology with uh, genetics and plant breeding as possible. Nutrition breeding and resistant varieties are less certain. Okay, and for the study strategy, strategy we can say that prioritize core topics and memorize the key facts which we have uh, discussed earlier and practice past year question to get familiarized familiarizing get familiarized with the themes okay and skim the low frequency areas unless time permits so i hope this analysis uh, helps you to prepare effectively for the uh, genetics and plant breeding section of the ibps afo examination uh, so good luck for study thank you